Well hello again everyone. I was curious to see how my airbrush painted water bottle stood up to regular use, how the finish lasted. Now remember it's painted effectively with the same sort of paints as your car so if it comes up against any sort of hard contact with uh, metal objects, scratches, stuff like that it is likely to suffer some damage but uh, what I've done is I've been bringing it to work every day in my rucksack either while I'm on the motorbike or in the car and uh, it's just been in there with my lunchbox, my glasses case uh, I've tried to keep it separate from the battery charge to the bike because that's a sort of squarish aluminium box with some sharp corners on it. So I kind of put it on the opposite side of the rucksack to that so I'm not deliberately damaging it. Uh, but I haven't been particularly careful with it. I've been doing this for five weeks and I've obviously been sort of washing it up in a sink of uh, soapy water and drying it every day as well between uses. So. Let's see how it got on. Well here we are, here are the uh, bottles I've got. This is the one I airbrushed myself and this one is just one I bought. It had this sort of green metallic finish on it and this is the one that I'm currently using for walking trips and taking underground. You can see how it suffered mainly from being bashed against rocks and such. <coughs> But the one I've just been bringing to work and treating normally hasn't suffered too bad. There's a couple of little scratches on the neck. There's one there that, where it looks like it's come into contact with something sharp. And another little nick there. And there's also another tiny little scratch on the side. But overall, I don't think it's fared too badly after sort of five weeks of pretty normalish use. Certainly be fine, I think, to uh, take to the gym and that sort of thing. I bet if you give it to a kid to take to school, it'll get pretty battered. But uh, with a little bit of care, it can retain its finish, I think, for quite some time in normal use. So there you go, a bit of a short video, but I thought it was quite interesting to see how that type of finish held up. And uh, I'm reasonably pleased, really. There's a selection of my airbrush paintings available on my Etsy shop. Just go to TTXELA Airbrush in Etsy. I'll put a link in the description below. Well, that's all for now. If you enjoyed it, press like. Subscribe if you want to see some more. And ring the bell to be notified when we upload something new.